I've got my sketch down and um, the carpenters have been working on um, the structure. We have so we have the technical side, we have the construction side, and then we have the cake side uh, for this um, for this um, cake. But then the the cake side has a lot of technical aspects and construction aspects. But then above all, a cake should be delicious. You can have a cake that looks so beautiful, but then when you taste it, it's not really nice. So we want to create a cake that is visually stimulating and exciting, but then at the same time, when you eat the cake, you don't go, you go. <laughs> so I think the cake should taste nice. Um, taste, taste is paramount. I think that quite often the balance is lacking. But then it's not, I, I also feel that it's not the fault of a baker that the balance may be lacking because you see, it takes a lot of time to design and decorate these cakes. So it is not a joke because you want the cake to be all that, like, uh but uh all that, no. A baker said because <laughs> there's a process. You need to decorate it, you need to, but then there's a time to, because the longer a cake, that stays like you bake a cake ideally within three days not that it should be eaten but if it's um a cake that is three days or between two days because if you bake a cake today and eat it today the flavor profile is not set when you bake a cake we usually merely we bake it and it cools we chill it once we chill it or we freeze it and then we defrost it or we 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 prep it and put it in the fridge to be chilled for us to start the, the creating process. The cake like would have developed its flavors. And then when we put the buttercream in between and whatever fillings, it develops the flavors more. And then when we put the chocolate ganache over it, it encases all those flavors. And then the more the cake sits, the more the flavors get into it. And then the, the, the fragrance of the chocolate also permeates into the cake. So then by the time the couple cuts it, so that means you have like three days at most to decorate the cake. And so if it's something that you're going to do very elaborate beading and something that's going to take you a week or two weeks, you cannot use cake because by the time the client will take the cake, the cake will be rotten. The cake will look nice outside, but the cake inside cannot, unless you keep it in the freezer or in the fridge, and you can't keep a cake that you are decorating in, like, it has to stay in an air-conditioned room. The level of humidity has to be very low so that the icing sugar doesn't melt. Like, there's just so many little, little things. And so, it's like, you have very limited time to do what is nearly impro Im impossible. And so, over time, as bakers, we have found ways around that to be able to give our clients the most ornate, most elaborate cakes, but then cakes that still taste delicious. And so you get to eat your cake and have it too. And so that's one of our, um, that's one of our secrets. We had details on this cake and um, yeah, details on this cake that I've never done before. The bride um, showed me a design. I met the bride a couple of months ago. And she showed me a design of a cake that she liked. I don't do replica cakes. Every cake I make is an original design. So, and the design she showed me was a design I had done several variations of. And so, I told her that I wasn't going to do that design, but I was going to take the core, the spirit of that design and make something very different. And so when I spoke to the groom and he told me what he wanted to achieve with the cake, because every couple has a goal with their cake. Some are more deliberate than others, like, I've met with a couple who said they want to blow their guests out. They want their guests to say, wow, 
Wow! There are some that just want a simple cake, beautiful cake, share with family. They are big on taste. Even those who are not big on taste, when they taste the cake, they are happy and they like it. Because at the end of the day, cake is cake. You have to eat the cake, you know. No matter how much time we spend, um, like decorating it and on the aesthetics, we still want a cake that is delicious. So, we've gotten Swarovski crystals for this cake. I'm so excited because this is my first. Yes. So, like in the light, they look like so pretty. I mean, there's a lot of light. So there's a lot of bling on the cake so that it reflects beautifully. So I'm thinking about putting bigger crystals on, but it all depends. These are like the big size Swarovskis, but a luxury cake may not necessarily have a very complicated design. Some do, I'm not saying that, but then it's really about finding the balance. Sometimes it's a complicated design, but a lot of the times it's the details. Most of the times is the details that elevate a cake to that next level. Yeah, you can just wash them in. They can keep it. That's what I'm saying. They can keep it, put it on their clothes, you know, their anniversary, their baby christening. Like they have it there forever and ever, you know, to keep. So, so we have the Swarovski seal that we'll put on our cake to authenticate <laughs> our work to Thank prove that you. what we are using is not China. This is proper Swarovski. It's not China. <laughs> this is not China. <laughs> but then also the flavor, the flavors that we are doing, we are doing um, a new, we, we created new custom flavors for this cake. We are doing Bailey's chocolate cookie crazy. Um, we are doing Bailey's butterscotch um, we're doing um, pineapple coconuts, almost like a pina colada, but then it has a, a hint of rum in it. And we, we also did a, a rum raisin cake. Um, so the cake game is strong in this cake. Pa, the, the, the cake game is, is on fire for this cake. The cake will, one side will open to the left and to the right and then one to the other side. But then the complexity comes because of this armature and the floating tears. How do we get the cake to open with things floating around? And the cake is also rotating. So there are a lot of moving and the cake is rotating and ascending at the same time. Wow, the story inside No, so how it's going to be is the cake is going to ascend and rotates. So imagine, imagine this is the cake, right? Okay. And then it's coming out of this thing. So now the cake is, so the cake is coming out, is rotating like this, right? Round and it's coming out. And then it comes all the way to the top and, and sits. Then it begins to open. The projection is a minute, but the cake will not open like this. Uh -huh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So we will set the tone by playing the couple's favorite love songs and we set the tone. There's so many other parts, but I want you to say it so that you believe it. Pacha Yapong. Ask up. I practice all the COVID-19 protocols and let's kick COVID-19 out of Ghana so that we can get our lives back and have phenomenal weddings and phenomenal cakes and phenomenal events back. So stay tuned to the next episode of Cake Has an Experience.